Now, Doug, now I'm going to show you how to tie a knot when you're tying two lines together, such as your, your regular line to your leader end that you're going to be tying. It's called the blood knot. What we're going to do is go ahead and cross them over. And the important thing about this is to go around five times on this one side. It seems to be a magic number, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. And then once we're done wrapping around five times, we're going to stick it around back towards the beginning where we just crossed over our two lines. And now this is where we get to take the other line, such as if this was the leader line of it. And we're going to wrap this end of it around five times now. After we're done wrapping it around five times, now this is the important part about this knot. See how this is pointing upward? We're going to now just face it downward. So they go at a diagonal of each other. We're going to go ahead and cinch that down, make it look all pretty, and that's called the blood knot. Sometimes what us fishermen do is we cut off the ends of it with a nice little set of nail clippers we have handy dandy attached to our vest. This is the blood knot. What you need to do is take your two ends and from your right hand, cross it over to your left hand and give yourself enough slack. We're going to wrap it around the rope five times. After we're done wrapping it five times, we're going to bring it back over to where the other end of our rope is. And we're going to put it where X marks the spot where the two ropes cross. Now when we wrap, now on the other side, we're going to wrap it around. Make sure to wrap it once over the tail. And this is the tricky part. Only one time over the tail. And then the rest of the five wraps after the tail. We're going to stick the other end through where X marks the spot. So now they're facing opposite directions. And we're going to go ahead and pull the blood knot real tight. You cinch it down real good and you're all set to go. This is the blood knot.